get started with the eyes this is what we are going to do and I will show you if you don't want the rhinestones where you can stop so let's get started so first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my brows for brows I'm just using uh, the Miss Clear waterproof eyebrow pencil this one costed me around 70 rupees when you comb your eyebrow like your product does tend to come out here so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer and I'm just going to conceal or clear that area just very little of it next with my concealer brush I will just blend everything in I am going to set my entire eyelid with this shade right here this one that will mattify my entire lid and prep my entire lid so I'm going to use this yellow shade right here or you can just use your pressed powder if you want to first shade that I'm going to put in as a transition is going to be your contour shade like any contour shade whether it's a bit orangish or whether it's this brown like mud brown anything is fine whatever is going to help you like um, create a really nice soft transition which is really close to your skin tone works anything works trust me all over the brush make sure you tap off the excess look down place your brush and just doing the windshield wiper motion now I will be taking this flesh tone brown which is going to go in my crease again little by little not everything at once now coming to your lid your lid is going to need something which is contrasting with your dress like my dress was somewhere in between gold rose gold so I'm going to use this shade. This is the expensive pink from uh, MAC. The name is expensive pink. And this one is like pink and gold. So it, it reflexes like pink and gold. It's like duochrome. So I'm going to use this and put this over my lid. You can use gold. You can use any color, whichever works with your outfit. And you can always switch out the stones. So that's it for the lid as of now and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the same blending brush and I'm just going to blend everything in now for my crease I'm going to take a little bit of black and which is from Mac this is called carbon and I'm just going to take that really like I'm just going to like barely like touch my brush here just so and top of the excess and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it at the corner of my eye just at the end just dab I'm just going to take my uh, blending brush and I'm just going to blend this edge right here and now I will be taking this really fine like really thin black brush and I'm going to dip that in carbon again all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this under my waterline as well as I'm going to pull this a little up so I get a guideline for my wing Now I will be using my L'Oreal um, black eyeliner this is the gel based one and I'm going to use it on the same brush and I'm going to waterline as well as tight line as well as just apply a really nice wing now with the eyeliner done I'm going to smoke out the under eye line oh, my under eye with this brown shade right here and I'm going to use my faces brush Apply some mascara underneath. I will be using Pack Lashes 55. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deepen up a little bit of my crease. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back in this brown shade and just blend things here. To stop here, you can definitely stop, but I'm going to take that extra step and make it this glamorous. We are going to use these stones right here, which are really easily available in India. Or you can also use the stones that come for nails, so you can do that. 
So for this, I'm going to take a liner brush that comes with L'Oreal or Maybelline or anything like that. I'm going to use the brush area to apply uh, glue over my liner. And I'm going to start off from the middle. If you want to take off, like if you want to put on lashes later, you can do that. But I'm, I feel that it makes it a bit more difficult for me. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue at a time, one at a time. Literally, it's very easy. Over here, I think this is where I want to stop, but I may go a little here and just add one more. That's it. That's all you have to do for your eyes. If you want to uh, give another round of eyeliner, you can do that. We have finished the entire tutorial for my eyes. I, I mean, I have planned this look for so long. I think about six to seven months I was planning to do this uh, video for you guys but I just never got a chance to do it I was actually inspired to do this tutorial when I was like going through Instagram I follow Mona she is a really 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 amazing makeup artist and she actually shared this picture and I was like I have to do this so I did this on one of my clients for her reception party and she looked amazing like she looked so glamorous I'm going to put a picture here and she carried it off with such an ease I mean you might feel that you might not be able to carry it but trust me it looks so good when I'm talking to you does it look too heavy when you apply the lashes it makes it look really wearable it's not too bang on your face that you have this so much makeup or this um like these stones on if you want to stop without the stones you can definitely do that and make sure you are adding a little bit of natural lash not something too crazy so like this won't be visible at all I hope you enjoyed this look. I definitely love the way it looks. It took me a lot of effort to do this video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial video. If you want to see more of these kind of looks, please let me know. I would be more than happy to do them for you.